communication is sexy. Very sexy. Hi guys, it's Sanav. How are you guys doing? And I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to press the join button, which is down below by the subscription button, and you can become a patron on Patreon to support Black Media and to support this channel. I have a GoFundMe and more information about my GoFundMe link in the description box below, as well as how to follow me on all my socials on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube and Twitter, as well as how to connect with me in my WhatsApp and to receive my newsletter. All of that is in the description box below. Today, we're gonna have an interesting conversation about communication, so stay tuned. Communication is sexy. It's appealing. It's an amazing way to express yourself and to talk with your customer. When you're on messaging and when your message is clear and on, on point, then your customers can connect with you. When you're positive, when you are sharing the information that your customers need, that their, your customers understand, and that your family members, people who are part of your tribe, are connected to, then your message becomes a message that is appealing and that connects and magnetizes you to your audience. When you're sharing a message, you want to be positive. Yes, you want to be positive because people are attracted to positive messages. Like-minded people are attracted to like-minded people. Like attracts like. So you want to be positive. You want to be upbeat. You want to be happy. You want to be friendly. You want to be loving. You want to be considerate. You want to be warm. So be positive. All of that in your messaging is very important. Now these skills are important for you, whether you have a company that is here in the U.S. or in the West, or if you have a company that you are taking or are uh, employing over on the continent of Africa. So we have to grasp these communication skills now. One, be positive. The worst thing that you can do in communicating and as a part of your communications interpersonal skills is to be negative, crabby, mean, complaining, doubtful, negative, hurtful, hateful. <laughs> that turns your audience away. It ultimately will push your audience away. And maybe in the short term, you may grab uh, the attention of people and get a lot of views. In the long term, it really does cause confusion and friction. And so you constantly have to fight one battle after another. You constantly have to stir up commotion. You constantly have to stir up chaos to keep that energy going, to fuel that energy to keep you growing can keep your business growing so being positive is a more attractive business communication tool and style because in the long run although it may be slow growth in the long run people see you having a steady message and having a steady impact in the marketplace so one you want to be positive. Two, you want to be clear. You want to be clear about what you are about, what your company is about, what your organization is about, what your message is. You want to be clear. You want to be clear so that people know exactly who you are and they know exactly what they are connecting to and connecting with. So being clear on your messaging is extremely important. Number three, you want to be consistent. The more consistent you are on a regular basis and putting out messages on a consistent basis. Whether it's so whether that message is one day a week on Sundays or three times a week, two times a week, whatever you choose, you want to be consistent. You want your audience to be able to find you, to know you, and to know where you are. 
consistency in the marketplace helps your customers, your brand, your target audience, your tribe to be able to reach you. It helps your brand to be bring uh, awareness in the marketplace about who you are. So if people, it's like, you know, having a storefront, right? in this virtual space it's like having a store storefront and you're constantly moving the storefront location from day to day to week to week nobody knows where to find you right so that's why when pop-up shops who are successful and do really really well uh, when they understand consistency and they're able to tell their customers we're here at this location on this day we're at this location on another day day then people are able to connect with them and so consistency uh, in a digital space like YouTube or on social media, consistency is very important. People need to know when they're going to be able to find you, right? And know that there is a specific timing, right? And cadence to and rhythm to your message and when you're going to allow those new messages to be expressed in the marketplace so that people can connect with you. Your customers are just waiting for you to talk to them. They're just waiting on you to connect with them. Your tribe is waiting for you. But first, you have to be consistent. Number four, you want to be created. You want to make sure that you are delivering your message in a creative way. No matter whether you are selling cocoa or you are selling uh, honeydew drops or you're selling chocolates or you're selling African clothing, whatever it may be, you want to be creative. You want to choose different locations in different places that are going to enhance your message and enhance the very essence of the words and the stories and the information that you are trying to portray. You also want to choose, in addition to location, you want to choose um, ways that you can be creative to share the message. A lot of times, a lot of this um, information is already out there, but we have in, on different subjects, right? There are a hundred candy bars. There are uh, a thousand different dresses that you could buy. There are um, amazing uh, products that you could purchase from a gazillion different uh, companies or online resources or a different amazing people that you might watch right and who would who are sharing these messages but why do you continue to tune in to those same people over and over again why because they're creative in the way that they share their content they're creative in the way that they approach the messaging in the way that they choose to connect with you Number five, you want to be captivating. When you're talking, you want to talk in such a way where you're captivating the audience, where you're pulling them in and connecting them closer and closer and closer and closer to you, right? So that they focus on you. I want you to focus on me, right? So you're captivating and your message is alluring and your message is presented in a way that is uh, that well positions you and your brand and captivates your audience so that they'll keep coming back again and again. Captivating, you wanna be captivating in the words that you say and the message that you share in everything from the clothes that you wear, the makeup that you do, if you're a woman, that your message is captivating, captivating in every way, in the way that you deliver your message, in the way that you look, in the way that you appeal to your customers and your, and your clients, in the way that you share the information with everyone, captivating and you are sharing a message in a way that reaches your audience and shares a little bit about you as well as connecting with those things that you know the audience really wants and needs to hear. So as we review, okay, we want to make sure that our message is one, positive. 
that we're sharing a very positive message that is filled with positivity and that connects people and brings people together and builds community. We want to make sure that our messages are clear. There's nothing worse than people being confused about what you're talking about or not really understanding the message that you're trying to share. And so do some time, take some time and do some research to get your message on point so that you're sharing a message that is clear. Consistency. Yes, we want to be consistent. You want to be consistent in the marketplace. You want to show up for your customers, show up for the people who come and show up week after week, month after month for you. You want to be consistent. Yes, absolutely. Then you got to add in a little flair, a little creativity. People want to hear your voice, your way. Yes, honey, it's it's uh, BBK. It's Burger King. Have it your way. People want to hear you. They don't want a message that is um, straight baked and, um, <laughs> you know, taken from someone else. They want a message uh, that has your flair, right? Your unique perspective uh, shared your way. There are a hundred million ways to share a message. And so it's important that we're sharing messages that are created and you want to be captivating you want to, you want to be alluring and captivating so you are drawing your audience in so you're bringing your audience to you not repelling them away from you and so that simply means no negativity right leave the negativity to someone else leave it out of the door you want to be positive and loving and sharing a message that builds people up that raises and elevates the conversation, that pulls people together, that builds strong families and black love, that encourages and uplifts and inspires. You want a message that pulls people into you and what you're really talking about and what you're really about. You don't want them to be distracted thinking about something or someone else or engaged in thinking and overwhelmed by all of the chaos that's encircling around you. So be positive and be loving and be wise in the way that you communicate and transparent, clear and honest so that your audience who came to you for you to see all of the things that you have going on can connect with you. I hope you are enjoying uh, this message that I'm sharing or these messages that I'm sharing on communication. Of course, this is my master's in communication. And as we would get ready to go to the continent, these are some of the things that we're working on, hubby and I, in our businesses and within our brand. And so you know how I am when I'm doing something that benefits me. Of course, I want to share that with you. This is how we continue to make communication appealing and how we continue to make communication sexy. Marketers do it all the time. They do this all of the time. When you watch TV and you watch commercial ads, you sitting there already eating a steak. And what is it? They make you want to run out and get a chicken sandwich. What do they do? They're using all of these amazing tools and tips that I just gave you to make that chicken sandwich appealing, even though you don't want it. <laughs> and so we have to do the same thing. We have to think about our businesses, how we can bring um, this interest and this appeal to our brand and to our businesses so that we're really connecting with the people who want to be connected to our brand and who are our tribe, who are our real family, and who want to be connected with you with us. All right. I love you guys so much. We're building communities. We're building strong communities here and at Sanab. And I'm so glad that you are a part of it. All right, guys, I'm going to see you in another video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help the algorithm. And if you're liking these new, this new series, leave a comment below and tell me what it is about this particular message that was helpful and beneficial to you, because that's exactly what
what I want to do. Remember, communication is sexy. It really is. And so remember, as you're communicating to the other person, think about what it is they want to see. Think about it the way they would like for you to show up or what interests them knowing your audience. We'll talk about that in another video. All right, as always, remember you, you are amazing. You are beautiful. You are precious. You are powerful. You are love. You have everything you need to do, everything you need to do because the ancestors are with you. Honey, baby, you are loved. You know why? Honey, baby, because you just are. I love you so much and I'm gonna see you in another video real soon. Bye-bye guys.